Fox Weather is your Hurricane HQ. We focus on the Atlantic. Philippe made landfall as a tropical storm. Yeah, we could hardly find the center of the storm yesterday, but it did make landfall. And this above average season that we've had in the Atlantic Basin continues. We got a third of the season left on the calendar. We don't wrap up until after Thanksgiving on November 30th, but Philippe expected to maintain its strength over the next few days, bring heavy wind, rain gusts, and so forth. Don't know where the video is. We have it somewhere. Keep watching Fox Weather. You'll eventually see it. Uh, but here are the details with Tropical Storm Philippe. 50 mile an hour winds moving northwest at 10 miles an hour, pressure 1,000 millivars. Matthew Blue, you just hit it, the nail on the head. Let's go back to the ace because this is really the story I think that comes out of Philippe. Yes, it was a tropical storm, but at the same time, it being a tropical storm, the headline that comes out of it's not really the rain that it brought to the Barbuda and the, the outlying islands yeah. because it wasn't a big deal, but it's enough ace which is really what we want to talk about, the accumulated cyclone energy. We call it ACE, ACE. This is so important to the hurricane season because of what it represents. This represents the balance of heat on the globe. We need hurricanes in order to keep places in the north from freezing to death. So we do have to balance things out. It's a wind energy index here, ACE. It's developed by Colorado State University, and it really does measure storm intensity and duration. When you look at this, um, this is such an important factor. I mean, what happened yeah. with Philippe is sort of a side note because it's been an erratic, wayward child that has not behaved. I can't believe that Bermuda's in the cone. You're going to have to hit that. <laughs> but the ace right here tells us that we're in an above average hurricane season right now. Yeah, and that's that. And there are several different variables that we can look at, different indices to, to track a hurricane season. Ace is, is something that was developed, Amy, as you had mentioned, by Colorado State University. It factors in wind. It factors in duration. It's not just a tally. I think looking at the numbers still, how, how many tropical storms, how many hurricanes, how many majors, are, are that's a good way to, to analyze the type of season. But when we deal with ACE, that's kind of getting into the, the meat and potatoes of a, of a hurricane season. And we can also pace it out. Now, Philippe might be, as, as you called it, a wayward child, but Philippe still has an ACE index. And this index is uh, accumulated. That's what the A in ACE stands for. It accounts for the entire season. And since it was developed by Colorado State University, if you watched us, Phil Klotzbach giving us this insight, right. saying that now we have hit a season that's above average. These are the values. Near normal is between 73 and 126. ACE does have a unit. You know, distance is, is meters. That, that unit is very complicated and complex, but as it's derived, we have now hit that zone of being above normal, and we still have about a quarter of the season left. And for perspective's sake, Last year was classified as near normal when we look at this ACE index. 2017 and 2020 were extremely active. The other years, 2016, 18, 19, and 2020, 2021, they were defined as above normal. So that's the group, at least right now, that we have 2023 in. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.